Now we will discuss hemostatic disorders or coagulopathy. So coagulopathy means diseases or disorders. What are the diseases of the coagulation system? It may be vascular, platelet, coagulation, anticoagulant diseases, fibrinolytic disease. So the steps of the coagulations Disorders in any one of the five steps of the uh, coagulation will lead to disease. The diseases may be inherited from the mother and father to the baby or acquired from the environment, environmental, from outside. So we mean by uh, acquired environmental factor. Environmental factors, by mean by inherited inheritance. So in, in inheritance, we will discuss the genes and the chromosomes. And in some diseases, we'll find that the acquired will affect and leading to genetic or inherited. The diseases may be quantitative or qualitative. Qualitative means a function, but quantitative means that the concentration of the factor or concentration of the protein decreasing in the concentration of the uh, factor or the protein. Bleeding disorders. In a bleeding disorder, we have to investigate. We have to investigate the patient. So, investigating what? History. First one, history. History of bleeding tendency. How? Patient of bleeding need to be investigated to the type of bleeding. From where is the bleeding? From the skin? From the mucosal surface? Like bruising? Uh, collection of blood under the skin, if it's Texas, blood from the nose, gum, bleeding, menorrhagia, blood, uh, excessive blood loss from the uterus, and the monthly period, suggesting the disease may be vascular or platelet. So now, according to the site or the type of bleeding, we can check or, or, what, or can uh, know it may be vascular or platelet problem. Bleeding subcutaneous, like hematoma, collection of blood, or heme arthrosis, collection of blood in the skin under the skin, or collection of blood in the joints, here joints, it may suggest the coagulation factor deficiency like hemophilia hematoma hemarthrosis hemophilia hematoma hemarthrosis suggesting hemophilia or other uh, factor deficiency we have 13 factors as we mentioned so yeah. delayed wound healing delayed wound healing or bleeding from the umbilical stump of the baby, intracranial bleeding, frequent apportions for the pregnant woman are linked with factor 1 and factor 13. Factor 1 and factor 13.